Public invited public participation. Meeting called to order by myself at 7.30 p.m. Um, please rise for the flag salute. Your Honor? Yes, stand me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Can you tell her roll call, please? Hey, Jess. Is she here? Yep. <laughs> Carol? Roll call? Mr. Cicero? Here. Mr. DiPiero? Here. Mr. Ferrer? Yes. Mr. Stanton? Here. Mr. Fox? Here. <coughs> Others present are James Barbario, our mayor, John Inglesino, our township attorney, Carol Kehoe, our acting township clerk, and Jasmine Lynn, our business administrator. Purpose of this meeting is to set the agenda for the regular Township Council meeting on July the 19th of 2011. Formal action may or may not be taken. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided in accordance with the requirements of the Open Public Meeting Law by filing the, no the notice in the Office of the Township Clerk and by posting the meeting notice on the bulletin board at the Municipal Building on December the 15th, 2010, where it has remained posted since that date. A legal notice appeared in both the Daily Record and the Star Ledger and were forwarded by fax to other local newspapers and local radio stations on December the 16th, 2010. Uh, please note, our council meetings are all videotaped. They're aired on Cablevision Public Access Channel 21 at 2 p.m. on Sundays and are also available for viewing on our website, www.precipony.net. Uh, before we go any further, our interim clerk, this will be her last meeting. And uh, Friday's our last day, but Carol, uh, for, on behalf of the entire council, thank you for. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very thank much. Thank you. I've enjoyed my stay with yes. Mississippi. I have met some really wonderful people. You have a fine staff working here. Well, thank you. Especially the council, right? <laughs> <laughs> the mayor? <laughs> oh, <Ooh>. the mayor. <laughs> uh, Jasmine, uh, are we going to do a, a presentation, have a presentation from Cablevision? Or? I, I don't see anyone from Cablevision here. And, but um, I forgot to do the 14-day notice. So I, uh, this is a public hearing for Cablevision. So if anyone in the public wishes to speak um, about um, Cablevision has applied to renew their, uh, their franchise. Um, and so if anyone from the public wishes to speak on that, um, after, I, I would ask that the uh, council continue the public hearing rather than closing it because, um, so that we can put a 14-day notice in the paper. I think that's okay. might be the best way to we'll rectify continue. that. Uh, ordinances, Carol, we all set? I don't, I don't know if any, yes. council, president, council president, I don't know if anyone from the public wants to speak at the oh. public hearing. On what? Cablevision. Cablevision. Oh. If anybody from the public would wish to speak on Cablevision, other than to complain about your bill, uh, please approach the microphone. You have five minutes. <laughs> All right, seeing no one rise, I close that aspect of the meeting. Carol, the ordinances? Yes, Council President. All the ordinances that are listed have all been duly advertised and posted, and they will be in effect, all of them, on 7-17-11. Okay. <clears throat> Discussion reminder, scheduled meetings, 6-21. Is that supposed to be seven? It's minutes for approval, right? Um, is oh, it, no, you're right. No, scheduled, no. Meeting. scheduled meeting. Scheduled meeting says 621, 2011, 730 p.m., regular meeting, public invited, public participation. July the 12th is 730, agenda meeting, public invited, public participation. That's today. Minutes for approval, the agenda meeting of 61411 and the regular meeting of 62111. Mayor? I have nothing at this time. You have nothing to say, Mayor? No, just hello, gentlemen. <laughs> Jasmine, administration. Yes, um, for um, bids taken, we're recommending award to the low bidder for the reconstruction of curbs and sidewalks. And um, that low bidder is Arnold's Roads from um, Monroe Township, New Jersey. For the reconstruction of the retaining wall um, on East Heading Place in Mount Tabor, we're again recommending award to the low bidder, and that low bidder is CMS Construction from Newark, New Jersey. Uh, bids to be taken, none. Quotation proposals, qualifications. Uh, this management. This, okay. 
No, I'm good. You can finish. No, it's uh, we received it on uh, April the 14th, 2011. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, we're, going, we're going to be going with Fairview Insurance for risk management, and that'll be on for uh, next week. Next week. Okay, thank you. Uh, resolutions confirming the appointment and awarding contracts for professional engineering services to Slaby Engineering Associates and Hatch Mott McDonald LLC. Authorizing the award of a contract for professional services to retain special legal counsel Michael B. Laverty. Laver? Was Lavery. It? How is it? Lavery. Lavery, Esquire of the firm of Quarter, Cobert, and Cohen. Uh, <coughs> we have a resolution on board for the fireworks display for the uh, Mount Tabor Children's Day. You we, should have. Uh, we have another resolution also. Oh. You want to do Children's Day? Okay. You want to do that first? Yeah. Okay. Do we have to vote on, we vote yes, on you, you, uh, it? Yes, it, it needs to be read and, and voted on. Okay, all we got to do is find it. That was President. on the day yes. for you, Council President. All right, John, go ahead. Me? Yeah. July 19, 2011, resolution approving fireworks display, whereas George Philhauer for Tabernacle Productions, Inc. has submitted an application to conduct a fireworks display on August 6, 2011. And whereas the application has been approved by the chief of police, the fire official, and the chief of fire district number one, now therefore be resolved that the Township Council of Township Parts of Detroit Hills, County of Mars, State of New Jersey, approve said application, a copy of which is on file in the office of the Township Clerk, pending an issuance of a fire safety permit and any other required rules. Second. Roll call, please. Mr. Cicero. Yes. Mr. DiPiero. Yes. Mr. Ferrer. Yes. Mr. Stanton. Yes. Mr. Fox. Yes. <coughs> Okay. Uh, Jasmine? John Inglesino, do you want to talk about the, the other resolution we have on? Is it this one, Jazz? No, no. Oh. Uh, um, it should about be on your fence? agenda. The, yeah, the, the replacement fence? fence? Oh. Yes. Somebody's fence on this camp? Yeah, this is, um, I want to just uh, make it clear that <laughs> this is my piece of property that um, the resolution's for. I, I, I applied for a... I had to go in front of the Board of Adjustments, and they granted me the um, fence, uh, the variance, I should say, subject to, and I'll let John Inglesino take over from here. Well, the mayor's correct. He uh, applied for a variance for a fence. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually a, a new fence in an existing area where there had been a fence for uh, 30 years or so. Uh, part of the uh, placement of the fence encroaches on the right of way uh, by the by the sidewalk, which is uh, uh, why council uh, uh, is being asked to uh, approve of that. Uh, again, the, the fence uh, had been in the exact same location for uh, some 30 years. Uh, the uh, township uh, engineer, Mr. Lizza, took a look at it, wrote a report, uh, which was favorable and recommends uh, a passage of the uh, of the resolution. Mm -hmm. Is this the time we should talk about the council's salary increase? <laughs> <laughs> okay, do we have a, what do we need, a motion? Second? We just need a motion, a second, and a second. Well, we have a resolution. Are we putting it on consent for next week? Are we putting it on the consent for next week? Okay, yeah, this would be, the, All right. uh, this is actually, you don't need a vote then, it's just to put it on for uh, consent agenda next week. Okie dokie. Where did this one come from? <laughs> yes. That's it? It's all done? Oh, no. It, um, we'd like to have that uh, resolution adopted. It's, um, it has to do with the um, auction results, and we'd like to get rid of all of those vehicles. That's what we made? Excuse me? Is that what we made? Yes. Oh, nice. uh, basically, for the public, public uh, yeah. this is a resolution that is going to authorize the township to sell uh, to the highest bidder, I assume, uh, a number of vehicles that uh, are no longer needed by the town. Uh, there's a list available. Is it available here? Um, Council President, the auction was already conducted. That's, that's yeah, I was and just this, saying. Yeah. This resolu resolution authorizes the release of the vehicles <coughs> to the individuals who Oh, okay, thank them. you. I missed the list. And, and everybody does have a copy of the resolution and list. Wait, does that need to be read, though? Because we didn't... No. No? You Did you tell the public how much? The total, the total comes up to $8,450. For Jesus, uh, what, 15 vehicles or so? Well, wow. Council President, you could just have when the council read the the first part of the resolution yeah, and then John. pass it. 
July 12, 2011, resolution, whereas the Township Ports of Detroit Hills desire to sell unwanted vehicles and equipment, and whereas illegal in the state of June 16, 2011, listing the items to be sold was published in Daily Record. Whereas a public sale was held at 11 a.m. on June 28, 2011, now therefore be resolved by Township Council, Township Parts of Detroit Hills, that said property be sold to the highest bidder as listed on the attached Schedule A. And ladies and gentlemen, again, the amount we made on Schedule A, $8,450. Second. <coughs> Roll call, please. Mr. Cicero. Yes. Mr. DiPiero. Yes. Mr. Ferreira. Yes. Mr. Stanton. Yes. Mr. Fox. Yes. Do we have to vote on the mayor's thing tonight, or is that for the next? No, oh, it's just that goes on the consent agenda, agenda for next okay. week. Uh, ordinance is approving restrictions on maximum occupancy of residential units from 411, and establishing fire zones and regulating parking at 260 Walsh Drive, Block 136, Lot 36, from July the 11th. What do we have to do with that? That's going to be on to vote. That'll be on for the vote next week. Okay, good. Uh, John, would you do the, the engi engineering report, please? May I have it, please, Mr. President? That's what I got. No, no, the, uh, the actual. Anybody have the report? Yeah. For some reason, I don't have. Uh, I don't see I one. don't have it either. No problem. I, I got it. I got it. Right there. There. Thank you very much. Huh? Yes. Uh, status of road resurfacing, putting stone area, no change. Revisions to escrow requirements in connection with residential sidewalk driver repairs, no change. Troy Brook to Hills of Troy, no change. 711 Park Road, Fairview Estates, no change. Edgefield Drive, no parking zone. Upper, no change. Canterbury Estates vacation of lots 26 and 77 in Block 98, no change. New Flood Road, new road, flood mitigation, no change. Uh, train horns at intersections, quiet zones. Mr. Simpson, no change. Uh, collapsing retaining walls. 1 and 3 Eldridge Road, Block 89, Lots 13.2 and 13.1. The project was bid. Uh, the engineer's office is recommending to award the project. Oh, we, we already did that. So we already awarded it, ladies and gentlemen, a couple minutes ago. Change order number one, Sandalwood Drive Drainage Pro Improvements, Phase 1. The project is complete, and a change order is required to adjust the contract quantities based on the as-built conditions. The original bid amount was $327,712 awarded to Crossroad Construction Corporation and the final as-built cost of the project is $341,274.26. This order represents the final as-built quantities and corresponds to an increase of 4.14%, which was attributed to the need for the removal of three additional trees and an adjustment in the alignment of the pipes due to unforeseen subsurface conditions. Uh, we, the recommendation is we must adopt a resolution uh, for the change order. And that will be yes, on the consent agenda item. for your next meeting. That's on next week, too? All yes. Right, All right. Okay. Um, and uh, 2011 road resurfacing program and reconstruction list. Um, no council action required. Uh, our Chief Financial Officer, Jasmine, did you have something to do with the bring up about the deputy? Oh, yes. Um, under the um, Township's Administrative Code, the uh, clerk appoints a deputy clerk. We don't have a, a deputy clerk at this point. And uh, with Carol leaving on the 17th, there's going to be a gap where we won't have a clerk nor a deputy clerk. So. Um, Carol has um, rent, uh, written a memo to the council recommending that um, I be appointed as the deputy clerk. And um, so I, I think the best thing to do is just to confirm that appointment, um, to have the council confirm and acknowledge that appointment. Okay. Same pay that you're making now? <laughs> yes. Okay. You're confirmed. <laughs> Second. All right, second. Roll call, please. Mr. Cicero. Yes. Mr. DiPiero. Yes. Mr. Ferrer. Yes. Mr. Stanton. Yes. Mr. Fox. Yes. You got anything else on the Chief Financial Officer, Jasmine? No, we already took care of that resolution for the okay. auction items. We're down to our Township Attorney. Nothing appropriate for public consumption at this time, Mr. Council President. <laughs> That's scary. Uh, township Offices and Committees is none. I have. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. 
I, I think we all received this letter from uh, Michael Doherty, the Senator, 23rd Legislative District. He's proposing legislation that will provide a more equitable funding formula for a public education in New Jersey. This is something I've been trying to talk to our legislators about for the last 29 years almost uh, to no avail. Um, and he has a sample resolution here. Did you all receive that? Did that just come to me? Amendment, no, I got it. Okay. I would like to recommend that we adopt a resolution uh, supporting his efforts. I support that. Yeah, okay. Abbott's, Abbott's uh, the money that goes to the Abbott schools is just killing every other municipality in the state. 30, 31, uh, for ladies and gentlemen that don't know in the audience, 31 school districts in the whole state of New Jersey get 60, 60 65 percent of all school funding, and it's just basically uh, causing the other school districts that don't get this funding to literally raise taxes on the residents. So it's so, uh, every, something, every, something needs to be done. If every school district received uh, the same amount per pupil, now you have average kids and you have classified. But if everyone, every student in the, in the state received the same amount per pupil, okay, then we would get $6,000 more, $6 million more a year than we're getting now in Parsippany. That's how much underfunded we are. But our sage uh, Supreme Court back in uh, yeah. 1991, I believe it was, Mike? That's when the court said uh, you solved the problem by throwing money at it. So. Yeah, and they still believe that. You know, yes. unfortunately, you know, they, they don't look at the Legislating results. Legislating from the bench. Yeah. <clears throat> So I, I have a sample resolution. Now, Carol won't be here. I guess I give it to Jasmine. Give it to the deputy. She's getting paid. Okay, deputy. <laughs> and we'll have the, Your we first have assignment. For, uh, we'll have on for we'll add it on to the consent agenda. No. Okay, great. Any other communications, Mike? No, that's it. Thank okay. you. Uh, correspondence on resolutions, the Borough of Butler seeking state intervention to increase safety and public awareness on State Highway Route 23. Uh, the Borough of Butler supporting the Oprah original intent. The Borough of Butler supporting flood drainage prevention in the Passaic River ba Basin. Yeah, I think we I think we already supported the Route 23 we one did. through we did. Uh, West Milford. Yep. Yeah. And we already support the Oprah issue though. Mm. Uh, okay. Applications. License transfer of tourist accommodation license from the Hilton Persephone from Crestline Hotels and Resorts to Remington Persephone Employers, LLC. Do we have to do anything with that, Council? Um, that will be on your huh? consent agenda. Okay. Right. okay. Yeah, next meeting. All right. Uh, I'm going to open it up to the public. You have five minutes. Please state your name and address, even though we know your name. Robert Simpson, 30 Hillsinger Road, Mount Tabor. Um, I was under the impression that we were going to, the council was going to discuss the Wayside Horns today because the mayor said it would be on the agenda. And uh, I know you all got reports, uh, yeah, engineering did. report last week, uh, last yeah, month. I, I got the report. We um, first, uh, Mr. Simpson, no disrespect, but we did say we would discuss it during the budget, budget process. The budget process. Um, I did say not last meeting, but I might have said at the meeting before that we put on the agenda, but <coughs> our last meeting we discussed that we really can't increase the budget any way right now because it's completed. So we said during next year's budgetary uh, process we can discuss it then because then we'll be able to put it on. I, I think that's what I recollect. I, I mean, I could be wrong, but. Yeah. That's about it. All right. So that's why it's not on the agenda today, because the budget, our, our budget process starts next year. Uh, is there a resolution going to be uh, uh, made up? With a lot it of will be handled in the regular budget process. Uh, well, there's no funding for it. Yeah. So that's why to even create a resolution with no dollars wouldn't really do anything. So what you're saying is that this will be done? I'm not saying it will be done. If we, we we will discuss it, that doesn't mean it will be done. We have to determine if we want to use those types of funds <coughs> to do that. 
Uh, is anybody going to apply to the New Jersey DOT for funds? I'll speak to the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I have allergies. <laughs> I keep coughing. <coughs> I'll speak to the Township Engineer to apply for it if there are funds available. Uh, well, they, they supplied funds to other towns for their quiet zone. So there's no reason why we shouldn't get it here. Well, no, that's a good point. It's no reason why we should get a lot of fund, but we don't get it. <laughs> but if you don't apply for it, obviously. <laughs> well, no, exactly. That makes it, sense. Yeah. So if we can, we will apply for it. And if, it, it makes sense. If we can apply for funding to get a quiet zone and it doesn't um, increase our tax dollars, that's not an issue whatsoever. So do I need to come back next uh, meeting and ask if uh, this was done? Well, I don't know what the um, what the funding process would be uh, to, to write in these types of fund grants. So there might be time, you know, time frame. Am I correct? Well, you know, well, we can ask for funding, but they probably have a criteria. Well, uh, we have we have to see if there is any funding uh, available for for this type of project, and then. Um, We'll, we'll look into the deadlines and do you think you could have an answer from home next week or yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll try I, I don't think so but I don't think we'll have an answer from the DOT but the cost is 700 right no no well, no, no 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 if the, if you see the study that we received I think between 60 to 90 thousand what the study up, that up to was done up to up to yeah, yeah but it's all according to kind of quiet zone right. that we um decide so up, we want to go 70, with. okay but the, the quiet zone that was originally was 700 thousand yeah this is Wayside Horns. We um, we did the study on the Wayside Horn. Right, hopefully we get some. Uh, hopefully we get some funding, some DOT funding. Right. Well, if we get the funding, then it, then it, I think it's uh, it's pretty easy from that point on. And the county, you know, maybe the county could supply some. Money. Well, the county was out there with us, I think, and um, wasn't the county? No, the school board was with us on that study. <clears throat> but uh, we can ask the county as well. Um. But I don't know if there is funding from the county on that. I guess I'll have to come back next week and see if anybody. What else are you going to do? Yes, huh? <laughs> well, yeah. It's the best show in town. <laughs> I get to know everybody here. That's yeah. it. Right, thank you. Thanks, Mr. Thank Simpson. You, Mr. Simpson. Thank you. Anybody else from the public wish to address the council? Uh, seeing no one rise, I close the public portion of the uh, council meeting. I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. Second. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. We session. have to go into closed session. Oh, sorry. There's That's closed right. session. That's right. I'll uh, read the resolution. Uh, we're going to go into closed session, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, we will be back out into open session when we're done, and I, I really don't anticipate it taking too long. But uh, I was trying to close the open meeting. Excuse yeah, me. Right. Uh, whereas the, the uh, Open Public Meetings Act, Public Law 1975, Chapter 231, permits the exclusion of the public from the meeting in certain circumstances, and whereas the Township Council is of the opinion that such circumstances presently exist, and whereas the Township Council wishes to discuss personnel matters, and whereas minutes will be kept, and once the matter involved, involving the confidentiality of the above no longer requires confidentiality, the minutes can be made public. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Township Council, Township of Pacific Detroit Hills, the public be excluded from this meeting. I have a second. 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 All right, roll call, please. Mr. Cicero. Yes. Mr. DiPiero. Yes. Mr. Ferrer. Yes. Mr. Stanton. Yes. Mr. Fox. Yes. You don't have to go home, but you got to get out of here. No. <laughs> if I don't see any of you, have a good night. <laughs> we can just go in your office, Jamie. Good night. <laughs> well, you can come back, you know. You can come back. I didn't hear you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, give it to me. Yeah. Oh, yes. You have to. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna seriously look. You have to. I'm now. the president. You have to. No, no, no. Look, Brian, you can read it. <laughs> yeah, you want to read it? Michael, read it. All right. Uh, <coughs> I have a motion to go back into. Uh, I have a motion to go back into uh, public session, please. Motion to come back to public session. Sec. Roll call. Councilman Cicero. Yes. Mr. DePero. Here. Mr. Fiero. Mr. Stanton. Oh, here. Mr. Fox. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. You, did you get Stanton? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, resolution of the Township of Sydney Troy Hills appointing a permanent municipal clerk. Whereas pursuant to NJSA 48 colon 9 133, the Township of Sydney Troy Hills is required to employ a municipal clerk. 
And whereas a vacancy has occurred in the township's office of municipal clerk. <coughs> And whereas since the vacancy arose, the township has utilized the services of an acting municipal clerk, and whereas the township desires to appoint a qualified permanent municipal clerk, and whereas a search committee was formed consisting of township council members and members of the township administration to review resumes and conduct interviews, and whereas Alicia Johnson possesses the, the requisite of New Jersey registered municipal clerk certificate and, and otherwise possesses the credentials and experiences necessary and appropriate to perform the function of municipal clerk in the highest professional manner. And whereas Alicia Johnson impressed all members of the search committee with her knowledge and experience. Now therefore be it resolved as follows that one Alicia Johnson shall be and hereby is appointed as municipal clerk of the township of Pacific Troy Hills for a term of three years pursuant to NJSA 48-9-133, and two, Alicia Johnson shall be compensated pursuant to the township's current salary guide, and three, appointment of the municipal clerk shall be effective as of August 1st, 2011, and four, Alicia Johnson shall immediately there, thereon assume all duties and responsibilities necessary and proper to effectuate the Office of Municipal Clerk. Do second? Second. Roll call, please. Mr. Cicero. Yes, and congratulations. Mr. DiPiero. Yes. Mr. Ferrer. Yes. Mr. Stanton. Yes. Mr. Fox. Yes. Uh, Alicia, would you stand up? This is going to be our new clerk as of August the 1st. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Would you like to use the yeah, microphone? Use microphone? I was waiting for Lee in the back. <laughs> so, so 51,000 so 51, people can see on cable vision. Next time somebody run and fix the microphone for me. You can fix it. Just take it out. You can take it out. And you know what? You don't have to sign in. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you for the confidence and the, the personal touch you put into my interview. It, it made me feel right at home. And I hope with everything that I have that I meet and exceed your expectations. And please believe me, I will try with everything that I have. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. <clears throat> motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Roll call, please. This is be good. Mr. Yes. Mr. DiPiero. Yes. Mr. Ferrer. Yes. Mr. Stanton. Yes. Mr. Fox. Yes. Meeting adjourned. Time is 8.05. How's your wife doing good? She's doing good, thank you. Yeah, the zero plot of her salary.